80 years ago. Duke's most famous football player took the field for his first varsity game as a Blue Devil and picked up the nickname that would stay with him for the rest of his storied life. 30 years ago, with Wallace Wade Stadium bathed in permanent lighting for the first time, a running back with a broken knuckle carried the ball on all seven plays of the game-winning drive against Indiana. One year, over 95,000 fans sat in stunned silence as the Blue Devils used an 88-yard touchdown pass and a 100-yard kickoff return to deliver an upset of Tennessee and Knoxville. Last year, one of the most explosive players in the nation took a punt 76 yards to pay dirt as part of Duke's first shutout victory in over two decades. 20 years ago, a blocking back returning for his fifth season broke loose for a school record 238 yards rushing to batter Maryland and set the tone for a magical bowl campaign. While a few seasons later, another unheralded runner pounded East Carolina in the rain with his first 100-yard game to help his team end a long losing streak. A prolific quarterback made his first college start a memorable one with 350 passing yards and two touchdowns and a runaway victory. Just two years after, the coach who recruited him began his triumphant revitalization of Duke football with a resounding win in his Blue Devil debut. All of these things are woven into the enduring fabric of opening day for Duke football. Opening day, what will we see next?